Hello folks, this is Bob Warfield from CNC Cookbook and I'm here with another installment of our G-Wizard University. Today we're going to go over the conversational CNC parting wizard for lays in our G-Wizard editor software. First though, what is conversational CNC and why would you use it? Uh, you access the conversational CNC wizards here just by clicking the wizard button and you can see the different operations. The idea behind it is to make it quick and easy to produce G-code for simple tasks, quicker and easier than having to do a CAD drawing and run your CAM software. You just pick out these tasks one at a time and they're very similar to what you'd do uh, if you were going to manually machine the part. Conversational makes it super fast and easy to do simple parts that otherwise would take quite a bit more time if you had to go through CAD and CAM. Uh, so it just saves you from that extra effort. And let's face it, on a lathe, you're often making very simple parts that don't need a CAM program. So you can get things done much faster this way. Let's take a look today at the parting wizard. You can either select it from the pictorial menus here or along the top. And it shares a, a page with the grooving wizard. So let's part. <clears throat> the idea behind these wizards, and they have similar layouts, is you're going to work left to right, top to bottom, until you get all the different questions filled out on the page. And so they all share this common top bar that lets you do things like set up a work offset, uh, wrap it to X and Z, uh, you got a roughing and finish tool. We don't use two tools when parting, so uh, the roughing tool is grayed out. You can turn coolant on and off. Uh, over here you've got some basic stuff, your your tool width, I've just got the width of my parting blade in here, uh, your roughing feed rate. Uh, there's a couple of nice features here. You've got the ability to turn on a uh, peck parting uh, option that tells you how far to go in Z before you back up uh, a certain amount and dwell a certain length of time, uh, which can be very helpful, uh, especially on uh, parts that like to bird's nest and uh, you know, put long streamers out that get tangled up. Uh, you have the ability to camfer the right corner here. Uh, it's going to do that in one pass, so you want to make sure not to put uh, too too big of a camfer in there, but you can do a nice camfer to break that, that corner. Uh, and then uh, lastly, you've got the ability, if you enter a finish allowance and a reduce feeds and speeds, when it gets that far from X end, uh, in this case uh, 0.1 inches, uh, it'll slow down to 5% of the feeds and speeds that it had been running. So what that's good for is, uh, uh, particularly if you're running a constant surface speed programming, uh, you know the lathe is just going to go faster and faster RPM wise as you get towards the center. Uh, what this will do is slow it back down so the part doesn't fly off you know, smack into something and possibly ruin your part for you. Uh, it'll slow it down so it comes off nice and easy. Now just a couple of more things to fill out over here. You've got your start and end, basically your diameters, uh, uh, where the material starts and how far in you have to go. Uh, typically it, it'll be zero, but if you've got a big center bore you may not need to go all the way to zero to part it off. Uh, and then you've got a starting point relative to your part zero uh, that tells you where the part happens uh, and it's measured off the right edge of the uh, parting groove uh, although the control point in the software is the left edge of the tool so we we compensate for you on that okay so let's give it a try uh, let's see I'm gonna go ahead and enter some values in and you can see yeah, you know, if I make a mistake for example if I give it rapid to 0.1 on a part where where the di outer diameter where the material starts is 1.25. It, it gets upset about that. Starting x uh, uh, must be less than the rapid x, uh, and here I've got it the other way around. So I like to leave I don't know maybe a tenth of an inch. So I'm going to put in 1.4. All right, and uh, z. Oh, I, I have the part zero as as my finish face of the part. So I'm going to come within. Uh, a tenth of an inch there as well. I'm happy with the finish tool, the coolant. Uh, the rest of this stuff I'm just going to leave it blank. We're just doing a demo here. You could put in whatever you wanted to. I'll just leave the defaults. 
uh, you know, we'll, we'll see a couple more errors because the feed rate in the RPMs are zero, and that's okay. That'll just give you a chance to see some more error checking. Now, again, X start, let's, you know, that's our diameter. Let's say we got an inch and a quarter uh, going to zero, and that the, the, the part off needs to happen so that we're cutting off a one inch uh, long part, okay? When you have everything the way you want it, hit insert and it goes in and there's it's not an awful lot to a parting program it comes out it goes in it comes out and it goes back and it's done you know here's all your code you know remember i mentioned we were going to have some problems because we had zero feeds and speeds and sure enough it's telling us the spindle's not spinning and the feed rate's not set uh but you can fix that easily just by giving it some proper values and you can see we've got a program here uh, we recorded all the different uh, parameters that were entered so that they're there for you to refer to and see what's going on uh, and then here's the code no big deal uh, as you can see parting is very simple and easy to do with the wizard so uh, thanks very much and we hope you'll give the parting wizard a try Okay.